A long day was drawing to a close on the island of Sodor. The engines had all returned to their sheds for the evening rest. As was customary, the engines said their good nights as they backed into their quarters. Good night, Steamies. Good night, all. Even to you, Diesel. I'll see you all bright and early. Tomorrow is a big day. Yes, yes. But something was troubling Edward. Oh, another long day tomorrow. Whew, I'm just wiped out. My boiler is aching, my paint is chipping, and my wheels are squeaking. I need a vacation. What's a vacation? Oh, is our schedule that demanding that you don't even know what a vacation is, let alone enjoy the experience of taking one? Demanding? Why, I could work all day and night and still be ready to go again come sunup. I must admit that running the mail every day does become a bit tedious. What's a vacation, Edward? It is my honor to inform you, Percy, that a vacation is just what you and I require. Why, a vacation is a necessity to keep workers productive. A vacation, my dear Percy, is a break from work. And I propose that a break from work is what we need. Hear, hear. My axles are in need of some time off the work tracks. Why, here comes Sir Topham Hat now. Let's ask him for a much-needed vacation. The fat controller had overheard the engines talking and was wondering just what was keeping them from heading into their sheds for the evening. <coughs> Henry, Whiff, Diesel, Percy, Edward. I'm surprised to see you all still awake. Haven't we all had a long enough day? Yes, sir. We engines were just hearing from Edward about these things called Vaticans. Um, he means vacation, sir. And I speak for us all in saying that we are all in desperate need of one. Vacation? Hmm. You are all really useful engines. Edward, you have shown your worth on these rail lines for many, many years. Because I value your services, I think a vacation may be just what the doctor ordered. Oh, thank you, sir. Where shall we go? Perhaps somewhere tropical would be good. How does Jamaica sound? You can leave first thing tomorrow morning. However, I do need two of you to stay here and help with the coal shunting. It's going to be a big day, volunteers. Not it! Not it! Not it! <laughs> Percy, Edward, and Diesel sat up talking after Henry and Whiff retired for the evening, bursting at the seams with anticipation of their coming vacation. Soon, though, the long day's labor got the best of them, and they fell fast asleep in their sheds. The next morning, Thomas was docked at Knapford Station, awaiting his passenger coaches, when Henry pulled in with freshly filled tender. Is it true? Are they going to make a... You heard right. Those three can't cut it on these work lines. I work circles around them, and I need no vacation. Off to work. As Henry steamed out, Diesel pulled in to drop off his passengers before heading out on vacation. Hey, Puffball, did you hear? I'm going to Jamaica. So, it's true then. You betcha. Have fun hauling and shunting while I'll be sunning. <laughs> How rude. Diesel sped off and Edward pulled into the station. Edward, are you going to? That's right, and well deserved if I do say so myself. Seventy-three years I've worked this railway, and never once had a vacation. Jamaica, here I come. The three vacationers pulled into the docks, where Cranky the Crane waited to load them onto Bulstrad the boat. Bulstrad would carry them from Sodor to Jamaica. First, it was Edward to be loaded. No, oh, come on, come on. You may be going on vacation, but the rest of us have work to do. 
Edward prepared himself for his departure. Here we go. Bulstrade balanced the weight of the heavy train and sailed off. He would be back to get the other engines. Next, it was Diesel's turn. And then finally Percy's. The engines, after a long journey, had made it to the island of Jamaica safely. Bulstrid spoke to the engines on shore. I will be anchored out here. The trains were now officially on vacation. (laughs) 